Okay, guys, we're doing a recap of floating point questions. We have these two floating point values here, uh, 0 0.1 and 1.0, and we need to turn them into their denary representations. There being 0 0.1 means that it is what kind of a number? A positive number being 0 0.1. And being 1.0 for the second question means it is a negative. negative. Excellent. Now, the, truthfully, the easiest way to deal with this kind of question is to look at this exponent, figure out what its value is, which is straightforward done because it will be in two's complement. So the exponent is what value? Three. Three. It's three. And then use the three to move the point back to allow us to make the fixed point version of it. So if that's three, I'm going to uh, roll this back to zero. If the exponent's getting smaller, What's happened to the mantissa? It gets bigger. Gets bigger. To make the line go, the point goes that way, it means it's getting bigger. So I'm going to move the arrow across by how many? One, two, three. So we've got one, zero, one, point. I've really made that too. Um, so we've moved the point over there. And now what we've done is we've moved this floating point representation into a... There we go. And so to translate the numbers, we can just put the values on top. And we can see from here what the value is going to be. We have uh, on the positive, on the whole number side, we have a... Five. On the fractional part, we have a... Yeah, seven, so uh, we can say the answer is 5.75, or you can certainly say 5 and 3 quarters. We need to do the same thing with the uh, value underneath this one. Bear in mind that it's going to be negative. negative. Let's put the uh, values on the top for the units for the exponent. Uh, and we can see that the exponent then is what value? Five. Five. The way we're going to make the mantissa bigger is by moving the pointer to the right. If it was going to be the other way around to make the mantissa smaller, go to the left. And we move it to the right how many times? So we're going to go once, twice, three times, four times, five times. And then we can write it out underneath it. So we're going to go one, zero, one, zero, one, one, dot, zero, one. Now we put it in. Point. We just need to put the symbols there. Remembering, of course, that this is in two's complement. So we go one, two, four, eight, sixteen. And for the last one, we'll make it. There you go. So that's the place where we could just go a little bit awry. And on this side, a half and a quarter. And we can just quickly total that. No one says anything. It's recording for long. I saw the comment uh, that every fake account. It's not a fake account. It is the FBI. <laughs> it is. We totally got stop. So the answer is negative 20.75. Let's. Okay. So I'm taking 13.25 and negative 13.25. And I need to turn these two values into floating points. In this situation, we're going to make the assumption that they want to use the original setup of an 8-bit uh, mantissa and a 4-bit exponent. Make the assumption always that these will be into's complement unless um, they specified it isn't. So we assume that they're always going to be in. Uh, floating point, uh, sorry, in two's complement. So 13.25. To answer this question, it is a multi-stage affair. Stage number one is that we need to convert 13.25 into fixed point binary. Absolutely. So let's do that. Well, I've got my units up here. I'm going to do 13.25 and put it into here. So that's zero lots of negative. One, two, next is 12, 13, that is 13.25. That right now has got us into fixed point. Because the number is positive, I want it to be in the format of 0 0.1 something. That's because it's a positive number. So I need to move uh, this point. Yes, we're going to move it all this way to put it. So that's going to be, that's just four, yeah? Okay. Yeah? We need to move that all the way across uh, the point to get it into that state. 
So we're going to go like, it'll be here, and then here, and then here, and then here. There's some seriously bad arrows going on there, but uh, never mind. Zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one. And now the dot, the point, is right there. <clears throat> I have to move it one, two, three, four. So we know the exponent's going to be four. The question is, is it negative four or positive four? Because the mantissa, because the point's going this way, the mantissa has become smaller. Therefore, the exponent has to become... So the exponent's going to be 4, but we can't just write down the number 4. We'd have to put it into, into binary. That's right. And so we've got 1, 2, 4, and negative 8. And so it would be 0, 1, 0, 0. One, two, th yep, there you go. Um, if we're looking at the mantissa, how many bits for the mantissa? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what do I need to do? This thing here, I need to pad with a zero. Beautiful. Okay, well, okay. That is how we solve positive 13.25. Let's have a look about how we do negative 13.25. It has an additional step. The additional step is being to make negative 13.25. So we put it into fixed point, uh, but we put it into fixed point as positive 13.25 first. So this is exactly the same as the previous one at this stage. So it will be 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. To make it a negative number, two steps. Step number one is to do what? So flip, and by that we mean we're going to take every time it's a one, it's a zero, a zero becomes a one. Second stage is to do what? We need to add one to it. I'm not going to be lazy. So I'm going to say zero, 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 dot, zero, one. And in fact, it's not even adding one, it's adding the most, most significant or the least significant bit to it. Uh, so we need to add these two numbers together. Uh, 0 and 1 are going to get us 1. 1 and 0 are going to get us 1. And then after that, it's just going to be a repeat. So uh, let's make sure this is right. Negative 16 plus 2 gets us negative 14 plus a half, negative 13 and uh, a half, plus 1, negative 13. Excellent. And now we're back into the same format as before, except we don't have a positive number. We have a... So it must be 1.0 something. The dot is here, or the point is here. So therefore, we need to go which way? Four. Left. Go left, this way. Yeah, go okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. And I'm going to write that out. 1.001011. Four. Have we made the mantissa, by moving it to the left, have we made the mantissa bigger or smaller? Smaller. smaller. So therefore, the exponent has to become? Bigger. So it will be? Yeah. Positive. So it's going to be, if you remember, 1, 2, 4, negative 8 for the exponent, it will be uh, 0, 1, 0, 0. Uh, what do we need to check? Uh, the mantissa size. 1, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero at the end. Will that change anything with the value? No. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, guys, we've got this question here. What is the most negative number that can be held in an 8-bit mantis and a 4-bit exponent? So, most negative, largest negative number. For the mantis a bit, uh, you're going to want to go 1 to make it negative because it starts with a negative. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then you want to make the biggest exponent possible. Now remember, the exponent is going to be in like 1, 2, 4, and negative 8. If you want to make the biggest one, what do you do? Yeah. If I, for argument's sake though, if I said it was 1, 0, 0, 0. You're a fool. Okay. <laughs> What does 2 to the negative 8 actually mean? So it means 1 over 2 to the 8. So you'll get the smallest possible. It's worthwhile to discuss. You definitely don't want to do that. So that never even happened. We didn't even discuss it, so it never happened. 
uh, the answer would be 0, 1, 1, 1. That's the most negative number. Most positive number, what would I change? I'm going to make the largest positive number. 0, zero. zero. yeah, exactly. It's 0 here, and the rest of these would all be 1s. Bingo. Uh, smallest possible number. Oh, it's got mixing these up now. Come on. Everything, every smallest possible number, but still positive. God, I, yeah, I have to express this better. Smallest possible number above zero. So positive, but smallest possible. So, yeah. No, half. 